Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2015 Chevrolet G25 extended four-wheel drive Quigley cargo van. Now this van does have some mileage on it. It's got 327,000 miles on it, but you would not know the difference. This looks like a 100,000 mile van. It's got a six liter Vortec V8 gasoline engine and an automatic transmission. Just looking at this van, it is in exceptional condition inside and out and underneath. You got some minor surface rust underneath because it is a Quigley. People take these things off road. They've been around forever. The Quigley conversion is up in Pennsylvania. They take a regular van and make it an off-road warrior. You can see we've got the steel push bar on the front. Just kind of completes the look of this van. And overall, this thing inside and out is in excellent shape. All the tires all the way around have deep tread remaining and look fairly new. Frame and underside. You'll see some light surface rust on the frame and we'll get underneath this thing and show you kind of what I'm talking about. But a good undercoating will take care of everything and look like brand new. But looking down the side of this van, now this van's got 327,000 miles and there's hardly a ding or a dent on this thing. There's no rust underneath on the rocker panels. You got a, some minor, minor things on this thing, but it's really hard to fault this thing. So you see underneath, just as clean as they come. A really, really nice van inside and out. It's just really hard to fault this thing. Looking down the frame, you'll see some minor, minor surface rust, but the original frame stickers are still in place, indicating that this is the original undercoating. You'll see some light surface rust again, but nothing a good undercoating will not fix. It's just in really nice shape inside and out and underneath. Now we normally wouldn't sell something like this with this many miles, but goodness, this thing runs and drives and looks like a lower mileage van. In fact, my detailer, when he drove it back, even said that this van does not feel like what it has. It drives like a dream. Those were his words, but power windows, door locks, got cloth seats, vinyl floor, driver's seat's in nice shape. You'd think with those miles, you'd have some rips and tears, but you know, just a mi minor thing there, but this thing's in great condition. It looks like the armrest is kind of falling off there, but let's jump up inside this thing and start her up. It's got a Vortex six liter gasoline engine, starts right up, you can hear that now. And I'm not kidding, if you told me this thing had 100,000 miles on it, I'd believe you, but we'll start her up. Purrs like a kitten, absolutely no issues as far as mechanicals go in this van. And there's the meat and potatoes there, the four-wheel drive, manual four-wheel drive lever, notorious for the Quigleys. You switch that into any gear you want and go in any type of terrain. AM, FM radio, heat and air conditioning. There's our four-wheel drive indicator. This is pretty cool. It's a newer van, so it's got your, your uh, 120 volt hookup. But inside of here, just in really nice shape. I am borderline in love with this van. It's in excellent condition inside and out. You can hear the engine very quiet, purrs right along. No misfires or any weird noises. It starts right up, sounds great. Now having an extended cargo, is rare and having an extended Quigley cargo is just incredibly rare. This is, these are awesome packages on these vans. They've been doing it for a while. I think since the seventies or even the sixties, I can't remember, but they do a wonderful job with their conversions and it is a household name in the four wheel drive business. And if you're looking at this van, I probably don't have to explain everything like that to you guys. Cause you know what it is, but both sides of this van, if you look down the side of it, it's hardly, you can barely fault this thing. You've got some minor dings and dents throughout, but just a really, really nice body on this thing. Underneath's in good shape. Mechanically, the van is there. And again, it's got some miles. It's got over 300,000 miles on it, but it sure doesn't look like it. And every once in a while, I kind of fall in love with things that I list on eBay and our website and whatnot. And, <laughs> I think this one might take the cake for this month. 
it's almost as if they never even really used the back. You got some wear on the wheel wells there, but look at the floor on this thing. It is in wonderful condition. Looks like we may be missing a piece up there for the interior light or something, but the walls are in great condition. There's not a whole bunch of floor uh, holes drilled into the floor where there may have been shelves. And it looks as if this thing was just used as a very lightly used as a cargo van. This thing is in wonderful condition. I can't really stress that enough. I hope the video is picking that up, but for 327,000 miles, you'd expect a little bit more than this. Maybe some rust underneath, which it does have a little surface rust, but I'm talking rod or anything like that on the body panels or any type of dings and dents. With 327,000 miles, you've got plenty of opportunities to hit something, but this thing's in wonderful shape inside and out. It runs and drives well. You can see it looks good too. So again, all your tires are in good shape, deep tread remaining. Frame and underside of this thing is in really nice shape. We'll go ahead and look underneath on this side. I'll let you hear the engine for a second. Sounds great. just a really nice van again we wouldn't normally sell something like this with that many miles but goodness we saw this van and we knew we had to retail it it's in excellent condition it's been mechanically checked out by our shop we've changed the oil we checked all the fluids and this is one that we can trust it's a good van take a look looks like all these tires are brand new or relatively new Great frame and underside on this van. We'll show you the side door here. Now we're, looks like this door on the left may need a latch or something, so I'm working on getting that, but um, this door opens up just fine. You can see you do have a little access door there to get to the front, but just in great condition. The floor mat is in really nice shape. I've seen much less van, mile vans look a lot worse than this thing. This is in great shape. Power windows, door locks, that's a really nice feature. Usually with these cargo vans, you're kind of you're dealing with work vans, so you don't have a lot of amenities, but this one isn't the case. But this van has a great look to it, inside and out. It's in great condition. Starts right up, it sounds great. And overall, one that you can turn the key and go. Now I have a feeling this thing's gonna either be worked as a work van or it's gonna be converted. A lot of people are converting these things to RVs, especially being an extended four wheel drive Quigley. This is the perfect canvas. It's an open canvas, you've got a Rear cargo area that is completely open. There's no shelves back there. There's nothing to remove. You can do whatever you want with this thing. Starts right up. It sounds great. Vortex six liter. That has a ton of power and it is a very, very reliable engine. We've had great luck with it. An automatic transmission, but a great opportunity for a late model Quigley. Now it does have some miles. It's got 327,000 miles on it. However, it does run and drive correctly and does everything it's supposed to do. As far as I can tell, where there's no issues, no known issues with this van. It runs and drives as it should, and it's in great condition inside and out, and certainly a hard to find van. But you can check this van out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this van throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. If you have any questions on this van or any other vans or trucks that have listed for sale, please do not hesitate to call. Trucks, vans, used anything is selling really hot right now. So if you have any interest in this thing, give me a call and let's get this thing sold. Thank you guys for watching.